guys, Tim here, doing our kill your console, build a console, PCs are better, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, build. So thought I'd show you with this uh, Zion case. The front actually comes out, and I actually read some reviews where people were like, you can only put a 2.5 inch drive in it, so it does have a 2.5 bracket right here. So say you wanted to mount, you know, a really small SSD there, but it does come with a bracket for mounting the one terabyte WD blue that I'm going to put in here. That just slides in and screws in through the front here. So let's see if I can get that taken care of without too much getting my big old noggin in your guys' way. Whoops. So I'm actually just test fitting this. Well, I might have enough room to get the SATA cable and stuff down in there. We'll see. But I really just want to make sure that it fits and isn't going to touch anywhere and you know, no, no shenanigans or anything. And of course, I don't have my magnetic screwdriver on me, which I would use for something like this. I'm sure you're all screaming hypocrite right now. Okay, so got the drive in. And now I need to decide if I want to put oh, an SSD in here or not. And I don't think so. The whole idea of this build is budget. That's what I'm going to stick to. So I'm going to go ahead and do some cabling. And when I'm done with that, I'll be back. Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, I'll do a little bit more cable management once I decide whether I want to put uh, a DVD drive in or not. We have the hard drive cabled up. We have the USB 3.0 cabled up. We have the front panel USB 2.0 and the card reader cabled up and the front panel audio. And all these will tuck nicely down in below. The one upgrade I'm going to do in this build that um, if I was building an inexpensive machine that I wouldn't do is the Noctua uh, Silent Slim CPU cooler. If I was trying to keep, you know, a strict budget on this build, I would use the stock reference cooler that comes with it. So when I talk about price at the end of this build, this isn't included. I put this in here because this machine is going to go at some point to one lucky viewer when I'm done with all of my tests and everything. So that contest will be coming sooner or later. Who knows when. Um, I definitely want to use this machine for some steam testing and just for general Windows testing to get some really good numbers so that people can make a good decision on a value oriented PC. So same thing with like the motherboard. You could use an MSI motherboard in here. That's what I'll spec out in the cheaper build. But this motherboard is a little bit higher quality. And, you know, if I'm going to give away something, and I just want to go a little bit extra. So this is kind of like the upgrade model of the two. Um, so there'll be two price points that I do. One will be with the MSI board and the, the stock cooler probably keep the same RAM because eight, you want at least 1866 for the um, APU. I may try to get my hands on a used uh, half height video card. I have a Gigabyte 6570 which I was going to use because you can do dual graphics with it. Uh, unfortunately it's not half height. So I might try to find a half height card for this. Uh, I might try to find like a 240 and see what happens with that if you off completely offload the GPU. But I'd like to do dual graphics because that's kind of the point of, you know, something this small, you put a low powered video card in it, you run dual graphics between the A10 and the video card to give you a little extra RAM a little extra horsepower just to help you know if it gets you from medium to medium high it might be worth 70 bucks and that's the kind of stuff that I want to test in this build so that may or may not happen 
Uh, a lot of the cards right now are kind of hard to find. Damn you Bitcoin miners of any level. So, I'd also, I might replace the power supply. We'll see. Uh, I kind of want to boot this system up and see how it does. I, I, you know, I think it'll be fine. This is a low power build. You know, you'll also be able to use this as like a media center PC. So, there you go. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV, guys. We'll see you next time.